once again uh, nice to meet you again in this video and most welcome for Nova Show TV now we are going to to deal with how we can draw how we can analyze slope stability how we can make slope stability analysis by using Plax Studio so if you want to know how to, to, to plug this how to plug this this exercises don't forget to like share and subscribe for to get our new videos that should we are going to upload very weekly and monthly so a daily so uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe this video to your friends if you really it, if it is your first time don't forget like share and subscribe so uh, we don't wasting our time so let's start the first thing to do is to open your software your plug study oh sorry you plug the study you have to open the plug study i was already learning the the, the 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 new project but no problem we can start we want to analyze this 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 video this 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 slope we want to analyze this slope which have this shape yes so we are going to analyze this one with this shape so what you we are going to do first one is to, to let to, to create a bohol we are going to create a bohol the first bohol there's a second bohol there's a third bohol for our structure and then we should insert the soil into this structure uh, we should add the soil parameters and create a soil layer for this um, soil structure for our bore. Then, what we're going to do, we're going to, to wait for, we're going to to start for our, our design. So, first thing to do is to let's, let's, let's create a new project, no problem. Let's get a new project, but let's, let's save this first. Let's create a new project. Uh, you want to to save this to save this 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 the uh, this 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 uh project. Uh, let me save this here. No problem. Let's save, let me save this here. Tutorial totally one. Good. So what we're going to do? We are going to to start for new project. The first one to do is to, to name your project. If you want to name your project, you come and name it like slope the, the, the second tutorial. Let me tutorial on slope stability analysis. Good. Then you come to model or you can use this this next this next no problem or you can come the horizontal let's allow this question to stay there no problem without any change so what we're going to change is this contour so our x minimum we want it to be at zero no problem but our x maximum we want it to be let's say at 100 100 meter and our y minimum let's stay to zero and why maximum we want it to be for let's say for 45 meter from the zero position then you click ok after that we come and create a bohol in this and this icon create a bohol then we should create a bohol of course then we, we should add add a bohol add a bohol which the the bohol one should just add you as you have seen on the, on our on our our page on our page uh, we are going to add a bohol which is that at uh, 45 45 45 to zero that's our first bohol then our our head should start should be at negative let's put it at negative 40 50 that is our first bohol then we can come come and add our material no problem i should i i wish to use this material cray and gravel sand because i it is a, i want to, to test the stability of the slope with that material 
that's why i really want to to put use this one i can try to edit it so it is a, a gray a gravel of sand i want to 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 to, to analyze this by using uh, more columns in analysis uh, to be drained you can change the color if you want then uh, you need to wait and saturate it to stay should do it stay to be 70 and the unsaturated and yeah, it should be stay uh, no unsaturated unit weight should be for 17 and saturated to be 90.26 no problem nothing to change here then for mechanics so uh, it is for 20 20 thousands so let's check change something little like 223 thousand then poison is ratio i will keep be 0 0.35 no problem then i will list anything to ch unchanged and the cohesion should stay to be 22 but friction angle i want to to to, to be 220 for friction angle yes that is fine that's fine that's fine let's 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 move to quickly to be okay then i click okay then after that i want to to, to add my my second my second borehole so i want to put it for 30 like at 30 like here 30 I, I will also allow the borehole to start from 30 to zero no problem here nothing to change here even if to assign for i will assign only for that way that i have been created you remember i have created i have created the layer so i should i should come and select that soil that they have been created then i click ok then after that i should create the next borehole which could be at uh, 19 which should start from let's say at the 30 30 meter from from the the top to zero then i click uh, i click ok that is my 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 stage but this angle is not good i want to reduce this you to to, to to reduce it some some little let's let's uh put to 20 and check what is to be gone i want to 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 to, to, to change some 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 more some more change so let's put it to 80 then to, to start at um, 20 good let's let's analyze this this slope to know the angle to know the angle of this slope you can you can use uh, you can use a calculator no problem by by knowing this 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 uh, this horizontal direction and the vertical direction yeah from the line you can you can you can draw a line from here to here vertically to know if you want to know the the lead you, you really want to know the the the, the length the, the 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 angle the angle the angle of your slope and there's some line here but we are not interested for knowing the angle. I don't know why we are going to deal with this. So the angle here should be now easy. It is easy for calculate it, to, to calculate it. You can use either turn by taking this side, this 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 distance, by measuring the distance from here up to here, and measuring the distance from here up to here. You see, you see the distance is about a uh, 80, 80 meter horizontal distance and the vertical distance and the vertical distance vertical distance should be at uh, you you should gonna take 45 and minus 20 now you will you will, you will get to like 2500 so the vertical should be 25 and the horizontal distance should be uh 80 then you're gonna take turn yeah turn of 20 over 80 so to get the the, the the angle here what you're going to 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 
work on so now i i don't want to 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 to, to waste my time i think that is very easy so what you're going to do we're going to analyze our slope we're going to analyze our slope without wasting our time let's start analyzing it so what you're going to do we're going to we are, we are not going to add any load we want to analyze the slope by its own weight uh, we will use another video which should go which should have the loading so the next one we're going to, to go to mesh and then generator mesh we want to use the medium medium mesh yes then click ok after that we can view our mesh that is our mesh that have been created that is what we, we, we give our our system to analyze so let's continue what we're going to do now we are not going to 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 to, to go to the groundwater or flow condition because we have already set to the, the level of groundwater now we want to go to the stage the construction where we want to, to start to construct this uh, the what you have done we have first created our our first layer our first layer was just created by moving this to gravity loading no problem because the the, the soil weight you want to, to want it it's its own weight to get loading this rope so the first one we have created this one and then we come here and activate the slope by its weight then for that after that you have created the next layer by clicking of to add the face which which we call it we, we create this layer for the formation we double click and create this formation and we, we rename this we rename it by first and then we came here for click ok then our last layer start from the initial phase because this is the fact of safety the fact of safety should be we want to 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 to, to analyze the slope stability by its own weight and what we want to analyze is the slope by its its own weight there we want to analyze the slope itself so that's why we want to we should start on the initial phase because the initial phase is the where we, we, we have activated the, the a wall a wall length a wall shape of the slope so that's why we have created the factor of safety phase from the initial phase as you see here it is it the, this last stage start from the first stage of initial phase which is which is was the factor of safety then you you change here to 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 safety then you click OK. After that, we we have to learn to learn the system, or you can just select a point to the curve. Yes, which I've already already created. I have already created the point. Yes, it can. I have created the point at the node where the stress should be should be shown. Then after that I can update and then I can start to, to learn my shape. I can create for all faces, no problem here. Then we are going to wait like two like like single very short time. Yeah, like two to, to, to one to two minutes. Only two minutes or less than two minutes the system should start should get finished. We have to wait a uh, single you see it is now on the the this the second phase for the the factor of safety it is now analyzing our shape from the first initial from the initial phase it is just analyzing the 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 factor of safety of our slope the shape that's why yes now they've done the things is over now so we can just click click on view calculation result where we can see or we can get the the value for our 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 slope the 
shape. So this this shows this shows the the principal effective stress of our slope. The maximum value was eleven kilonewton per meter square at some nodes that you have been added. So uh, the deform you can check for the mesh deformation. This is a deformation that have been done for our slope. By its own weight, remember it is by its own weight. This is the deformation that have been done for the slope. Uh, you can also check the the critical critical position or critical zones for our slope. As you see, this shows the critical position or critical zones of the slope. Okay. We can also check for the fact of safety of our slope. Okay, for the chart, new chart. Then we can, we left here as it as it remains. Then you come here from in the y-axis, the mat. Then you come for this double click by save by clicking on it. Then you can click OK. You see, the factor of safety, the maximum is one point three nine six. You can also double click to get the full information in order to avoid some of this this um, confusion. So you see. The factor of safety maximum is 1.396. That is the maximum value factor of safety for our slope. So you can also uh, you can also if you want to 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 to, to display this factor of safety on, on the screen as the as it is here as it's shown here, you can also come here to 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 this what. This is a label annotation. Then you click. Then you come here where you want to 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 to, to, to put it there and double click. It will allow you to to, to edit to get it factor of safety, which is equal to one point three nine six. Then okay, good. Now things are done. So the things is easy and very easy for everyone so if you want a problem if you want some discussion don't hesitate to contact email or message comment in inbox and if it's your first time to let you here don't forget to like share and subscribe